Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. So guys, I have a mini haul. This is because I'm going to be doing some baking. Y'all know I'm not a good baker, but I am trying to work on pleasing David's sweet tooth. Here's, so here's a mini haul, guys, with lots of items for some future recipes. All right, let's get started. So here I have the no sugar added Heinz ketchup, guys. I've only in the past purchased the reduced sugar because I never saw that they had this. I don't, oops. I don't know if this is a new product, let me know. Just started showing up on the shelves at my lovely uh, Walmart. I did not look at the ingredients or anything, so let's check it out. It is tomato concentrate from red ripe tomatoes, distilled white vinegar, salt, natural flavoring, onion powder, it does have sucralose, guys. Spice, not normally found in ketchup. Okay, it is one gram of carbs for what, how much? For one tablespoon. All right, it does have sucralose, guys, check that out. Uh, all right, so I also have some Baker's chocolate. This is the unsweetened 100% uh, cacao, Baker's chocolate. And here we are on the grams, guys. It's four grams with three dietary fiber. That's really good. That's based on two pieces. So we'll see how that works out when it's net carbs. And on a recipe that I'm doing, also got some of the Giardelli 100% cacao. And this is unsweetened chocolate again. This is, uh, let's see, one section and it is five, it's three net carbs. So. There you go. Also got some hemp seeds. I got some slap ya mama for some chicken wings that I'm going to be making. Also, I found this. I had not seen this before. This is a no sugar or salt added creamy almond butter for a recipe. Let's check out the macros on this little guy. And it's seven carbs, four from fiber, so three net carbs. Ingredients, um, palm oil, yeah. uh, almonds, palm oil. All right, guys, then I have my real bacon, two of these. I do use this on occasion, and I do consider this, quote, lazy keto, um, but do what you got to do, guys. I got some pecans here for a recipe. I have some pork cracklins, guys. This here is Southern Recipe, and uh, I'll be doing a review on some Southern Recipe products pretty soon here. This here is a wonderful product that they sell. Check the ingredients here. Pork fat with attached skin and salt. This is their dipper style. So it is pure pork. Even this Max here, check it out, Max. And this is their spicy. And check out the ingredients. All right, couple extra things, but still not terrible. All right, now we have this. This is also Max. This is their red hot. Guys, this here does not have maltodextrin, which typically is in a lot of these, but it does have dextrose. It does have modified food starch. Uh, and it's still zero carbs, but still some of these ingredients, if we can avoid them, all the better. <laughs> I have so many other vices that my pork rinds don't need to be a vice, but this I'm considering using on a recipe. If not, I'll give them away. So I don't know. We'll see. Then I got some of the organic stevia. This is by Pure. And let me tell you guys, make sure you're checking your labels. When you find the big bags that says stevia and it's nice and fluffy, it's because they're using maltodextrin. You flip that label and look at it. Half the times the first ingredient is maltodextrin. You don't want that. It's going to spike your insulin higher than a sugar would, guys. So let's try and stick to the um, erythritol, the stevia by Sweet Leaf, uh, Swerve, and uh, those types of products. All right. There we go. Then I have some more chia seeds. You saw a recent video that I did. I'm almost out of it and I'm loving the chia seeds, keeping me regular. And then I'd never seen these guys. Lazy Keto once again. Chorizo real bacon pieces, really? Look at that. Chorizo, seriously? Yipes, I know. Ingredients probably are gonna be a little questionable. Dextrose, I see it in there. But, oh, uh, maltodextrin. Why do you do that? Maltodextrin. See, I didn't check the label, guys. This may have to be a donate item. I don't know. Doggone it. All right. Sorry about getting y'all excited and got myself excited, too. And then a Sam Cubed Colby Monterey Jack. So tell me, would you do it? One gram of carb. All right, guys. All right, guys. That wraps up the haul. So today, 
I went on the trail. I put in a little over 14 miles. I did 10 miles on the bike and I put in 6,700 steps. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork fries, pork fries. Rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates. Blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.